Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I want to give you guys a heads up that the Resident Evil Village gameplay demo is back up. You can check it out. It does have a 60 minute playtime window, I believe. So yeah, I'll give a mention to that. Also, speaking of Resident Evil Village, a significant discount on the game. I believe the cheapest I've seen it, or darn near cheapest that I've seen it. On top of that, some great deals on Games Planet for a variety of different Bandai Namco titles that I would definitely recommend. More on that at the end of this video. But yes, the Resident Evil Village gameplay demo did go back up live. It was live for a while, and then I think Capcom threw it back up live for the Halloween period, and it's still live right now. Didn't mention it when it did go up, but you can check it out now if you want a taste of what Resident Evil Village is. See how the game runs on your machine. I've been very, very positive on the game. I thought it was tremendous. The only thing negative you can really say about the game, in my opinion, is the fact that it is relatively short given the premiere price that you're paying. That's generally the case with Resident Evil, however, so... Take that for what you will. Try out the demo, see how it runs. The PC version, in my experience, was very, very good, so uh, hopefully you guys get a similar experience. But if you do want to buy Resident Evil Village, boy, oh boy, there's a great deal over at Game Belay. It's 47% off for $31.99 significant discount. 32 bucks for Resident Evil Village, I think, is a great pickup. During that Steam sale, it was down to like $40.19, so this is a much better deal than that. Um, the game itself, I think, was worth the full price, but, you know, I'm in a position where I can get games, and I don't have to worry too much about games going on sale. I just like to, you know, assess discounts and things like that, and if I'm interested in a game, I'll drop $60 on it, but uh, for the majority of people, I could definitely understand why you would wait to buy a game like this, given that it is a bit cheap, or excuse me, a bit shorter, but $32 for it, I think at that point, it's a much better pickup for those of you that were a little apprehensive based on the length of the game. Now, it's also a game that, you know, I enjoyed playing through it twice. Like, when it came out, I beat the game twice, and I had a great time both times through, and uh, I think you guys are going to have a similar experience. Even if you play it once, it's such a great experience that first playthrough, $32, I think is a great pickup. So, want to give it a shout, would give it a recommendation, so check it out, link in the description box below on that okay lastly games planning excellent excellent bandai namco deals that i want to give you guys a heads up on nino kuni 1 and nino kuni 2 are on sale nino kuni 1 is actually cheaper more of a recent game because it is the remastered edition 78 percent off for 11 dollars nino kuni 2 revenant kingdom is 87 percent off for 7 dollars and 99 cents both games are very good prefer nino kuni 1 in my opinion, it was like one of the best JRPGs, maybe the best JRPG that was released on the PlayStation 3 era, and a great, great game for those of you that aren't big fans of JRPGs and you're just trying to get into the genre. I think this is a pretty good one. Great art style, Studio Ghibli. You guys know the deal on that. Gameplay is solid. Story is very good. 11 bucks, great pickup. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, on the other hand, 87% off for $7.99. That's a significant discount on that. 8 bucks for the amount of content you're getting. Very good. Once again, great art style here as well. If you want to jump right into this one, you can. Would recommend you to play both because they are such good games. Again, did prefer Nino Kuni 1, but both games are really good and at great prices. Next up, another great JRPG. Tales of Vesperia is 83% off for $8.74. You guys know I've been incredibly big on Tales of Arise recently. That game is like... One of my front runners for Game of the Year, no joke. Uh, it's either that or Ratchet and Clank at this point. Ratchet and Clank, you know, seventy dollars for a nine-hour game might make that bump down to number two. But uh, I loved both games. Tales of Arise was excellent. However, that game is still at a premier price point. Tales of Vesperia, on the other hand, eight dollars and seventy-four cents is a great pickup on that. Great cast of characters. Story is your save the world JRPG story. Not reinventing the wheel there, but great cast of characters, as I mentioned, and the story is good enough. The gameplay is pretty good, and the game is super lengthy. If you want to do everything, it is going to be a time sink. So eight dollars and seventy-four cents for that is great. Should also note, Tales of Vesperia is eighty-seven percent off for six dollars and sixty cents. This is seen by many as the weakest in the Tales of franchise. Still decent just some questionable story decisions were made and uh, that was a bit of a bummer but the game itself is still fairly good and um you know, if you enjoy the Tales of Titles for $6.60, you really can't go wrong with that one. Lastly, Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown Deluxe Edition, 79% off for $18. Easy to recommend Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. If you are looking for a fast-paced action game, a flight action as well with great music, that's something Ace Combat really gets underrated on. The soundtrack in these games are so good. Ace Combat 7 especially really dug the soundtrack here and, uh, yeah, a lot of action-oriented gameplay. PC version is solid and uh, not a blow-away story or anything like that, but for 18 bucks for the Deluxe Edition, I do think it's pretty good. You get some additional content with that as well. Six additional content packs 
with the season pass. But that's going to do it for me. Again, you can check out the Resident Evil Village gameplay demo. And on top of that, great price on it for $32. Check that out. And a batch of great deals over at Games Planet. Links to everything in the description box below. Uh, if you do buy anything, those are affiliated links. And I do get a bit of a kickback. So that's greatly appreciated. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.